Austrian, which is pretty much at this point the most popular SARM out there. I mean, this stuff is basically like Austrian on steroids. What's up guys, Alex here with Fit AP, and today we're gonna to be talking about SARMs, specifically OTR-AC. Now this is one of the newer SARMs on the market right now, but it's actually a reproduction of Austerine, which has traditionally been one of the most popular SARMs out there for building lean body mass. If you guys haven't seen my video on Austerine, make sure you guys go check that out, but I'm gonna go over it briefly here today just for the sake of the video. So like I said, Austerine or MK2-866 is known as the best SARM that there is for building muscle mass. A little bit on the history, History of Austrian, it was traditionally a go-to for people suffering from conditions like cachexia or muscle wasting syndrome due to cancer and other autoimmune disorders. Due to its ability to help retain and gain muscle mass, it works great as a bulking SARM or to be stacked with a cutting SARM like Carterine. Now, the reason that I bring up Austrian in this video that we're talking about OTR-AC, the compound is essentially Austrian, which has gone through an esterification process. So you may see it pop up as MK2866 ester, which is basically just Austrian with the word ester tagged on to the end of it. If you guys don't know what esterification is, it's a chemical reaction that happens when alcohols react with carboxylic acids. It's a condensation reaction, which means that water molecules are eliminated. One way that you can think about it is it's like the opposite of diluting something. So with this being said, and with what we already know about Austrian and its potential for building lean body mass, this means that OTRAC is extremely potent. This is coming from a distributor's website. OTR-AC, also called MK2866 ester, is MK2866 Austerine, which has undergone esterification during chemical synthesis to maximize potency, biodistribution, and half-life. The esterification of anabolic agents results in at least a tenfold increase in half-life, which means that the active ingredient has the potential to remain bioactive 10 times longer. This results in numerous benefits such as decreased dosing frequency and more stable blood levels. So just to give you guys a gauge for what this means on a cycle basis, the average dose uh, for Austerine is between 10 and 30 milligrams per day for 8 to 12 weeks, obviously followed by a post-cycle therapy. Potentially with OTRAC, you could dose a lot more infrequently and get the same effects that you would from a normal cycle on Austerine. Now, something to keep in mind is that since this is going to be a more potent version of Austerine, it is possible that you could get more side effects. It's common that 6 to 8 weeks is the maximum recommended cycle for SARMs because it's been shown that after 8 weeks, you can actually start to get the same side effects that you would experience on steroids like hair loss, increase in body hair, mood swings, easy bruising, lower resistance to infection, etc, etc. So that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to make a short video on this since I saw it was getting some buzz and because it had to do with Austrian which is pretty much at this point the most popular SARM out there. I mean this stuff is basically like Austrian on steroids. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.